I was diagnosed with breast cancer several years ago, and knowing that I would need radiation as well as surgery, I decided I wanted to use a personal strategy to help me cope with the experience. I love to paint. I've painted all my life, um, and even through another career as a clinical psychologist, I turned to painting as a way to connect with nature and with myself. And so I knew that if I painted, I would be able to, in a way, calm myself um, as well as express myself. Day one, my right breast. I am anxious about starting radiation, and I feel protective of my right breast in a familiar, motherly way. In this first painting, I am startled to see how dark the interior is, full of the mystery and menace of the cancer cells. One treatment down, 32 to go. Day two, my terrain. I started this painting full of raw emotions and uncertainty about the radiation process. Do I need it? Will it help me? Will it have long-term side effects? I am angry I need more treatment, angry that I have cancer. This one just evokes for me the, um, the power of the experience. Day four, feeling small. I had always felt healthy and strong, but the discovery that I had perhaps still have cancer, has reduced my confidence and morale. Day 26, Beyond the Woods. I began this painting using very dark colors, but brightened it with sunlight over the 15 minutes I worked. I have always liked to paint trees with a glint of light glancing through them or reflecting off the forest floor. Perhaps the sun in this picture represents my growing recognition that treatment will soon be over. Day 33, Good morning. Radiation treatment is over. Today I spread the paint around like I was richly buttering my bread. I feel a surge of joy and anticipation of life ahead. Looking back over the paintings now, the 33 consecutive paintings, I see that um, in the beginning there are a lot of negative feelings expressed. I was angry, I was sad, I was scared, I was uncertain. Um, and the, the mixture of all that together was pretty overwhelming, but then joy on the last session, and that's stayed there, the joyfulness.